left arm up in the air, delivers, right footed towards Cahill at the back post, wins the header down, drops to the feet of Jefferson Lerma, still inside the box, surrounded by blue shirts, back out to Stacey, cross towards the back post, Solanke is there, and Dominic Solanke pokes it home, and Bournemouth do find the breakthrough just before the break. Solanke on the money again for the Cherries. There goes the bow and arrow celebration. Bullseye. Nil will nil. Bournemouth won. He is so cheeky on the back post there. It's a little bit of a push on the defender. I, I, I think that is fine. I, it's very smart. It's a, it's a good corner. Cahill heads it down. It goes off. Plays it back to Kim Kenny, who puts a lovely little back ball in from the left hand side into the back post. And Solanke, Solanke is very clever there. Ballard sends the ball forward, looking for the run of Benek Afobi. Afobi inside the box, shoots early, last ditch, sliding, brave tackle from Gary Cahill to put it behind for a corner. Really important defending from the experienced Cherry centre-back. Afobi through on goal, pulling the trigger, behind for a corner. On loan from Liverpool, very highly rated. There's a ball over the top. Benica Phobie in behind Gary Cahill. Still a Phobie. Slots it past Mark Travers. Sucker punch. Millwall level up in the den. 1-1 with the Cherries. Former Bournemouth striker Benica Phobie with the goal. Yeah, and uh... Jack Stacey right wing back. Marcondes and Lewis Cook will hold in the field. It's Benica Fobe down the right for Millwall now into the Bournemouth box. Still a Fobe onto his left foot. Tries to send it across goal once, then twice. Lerma with a huge clearance at the back post. Oh God, that was a good Millwall <laughs> lurking in numbers, waiting to tap it in. Jefferson Lerma, that was vital to keep the scoreline at 1-1.